It's an unlikely friendship, a magpie and a staffy, but Molly and Peggy are the best of mates. They live together, play together, they even cuddle. But they've been torn apart after a couple of complaints or Molly taken away. We've had Molly around us and the dogs for many years and um, yeah, to not have him around, the house is so quiet. We all miss him. Miss him a lot. A feathered and four-legged duo, Molly and Peggy share a beautiful and sometimes bizarre mateship. <coughs> a mateship that's been stopped in its tracks because of bureaucracy. Look, we understand why, why they are doing it, but I don't understand why you would take a bird that's that's free and, and put him in captivity. Molly the magpie was found on the ground at a Gold Coast dog park when he was just a chick. Taken in by Juliet and Reese, he's been raised alongside Peggy the staffy. Peggy even producing milk for Molly, helping to keep him alive. Since then, they've just bonded. The two forging a friendship that's captivated the world, their antics shared on social media, including the magpie's now famous bark, <coughs> and the pair's playful antics. Their bond so close, when Peggy gave birth to puppy Ruby, Molly was there. Their interaction is just like a close family. But after years of living together, Queensland's government has decided playtime is over. Environmental officers swooping on the family home, Reese and Juliet posting this emotional video to their fans. I had to make the toughest decision of my life and I handed a wild bird to be in captivity. We did everything in our power to work with the department. Today the couple spoke to a current affair to address criticism of Molly's care. Were there ever any issues between Molly and your dogs? Oh God, no. Not at all. Never. Molly is a wild animal. Should he be living in the wild and not a domestic setting? He had the best of both worlds. He was hunting and gathering on his own. He'd come in occasionally for snacks, but then he'd come back and say good day. So to be clear, yeah. he could come and go as he Come and go, that's pleased. totally clear, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so the day that the, the wild officers come for us to surrender him, Molly wasn't here, so they left without him. So, and the, the day that... Um, uh, Juliet surrendered him to the wildlife. He flew in that morning and then Juliet put him in the crate and took him down to Burley and surrendered him. With an international audience, Molly and Peggy have their own merchandise and a book deal. And last year, a crowdfunding page raised more than $100,000 to help buy a house. We're doing a, a, a rent to buy for this place and we've utilised that money in, in securing it. And what sort of income were you making from Molly and Peggy? Oh, bugger all. Not a living. So, yeah, not a living at all. You couldn't really live off with any sort of money that you make from it. So we went, we didn't go out and make it fully commercial. You no, know, we could have. We could have. We could have been making millions by now. We could have. We could have been living in a penthouse on Sovereign that's Island not, somewhere. That's not but we're what not. it was about. So. Reese and Juliet believe a small group of people are behind complaints. Their supporters have now started multiple petitions calling for Molly's return. A spokesperson for the Department of Environment, Science and Innovation saying... Queensland native animals are protected under the Nature Conservation Act. A person must have a permit, licence or authority to lawfully have the animal. The magpie is currently under the care of Desi. Unfortunately, it has been highly habituated to human contact and is not capable of being released back into the wild. A process is currently underway to have the magpie placed at a suitable facility. Reese and Juliet are now calling on the government to show some heart. So I actually don't know where Molly is. I don't know if he's doing OK. Let Molly come back here, let him grow old and bring his family and um, we won't show him on social media. Oh, come on, Molly chooses to hang around with his best mate and he's free to fly away whenever he likes. He was clearly so happy and now he's in captivity. Surely there's a compromise.